everyone welcome back to cram farms uh today i'm going to answer a question that i've been getting from some people um i got some messages on instagram the other day and even on our facebook page people have had the same question even though you're in the middle of this move are you all still homesteading so i'm going to answer that question for you next so yes we are still moving we have been working on our new land a lot um, by putting up hey, fence posts now. And um, we've actually finished moving pretty much everything from our old house. And we are still homesteading. And I'm gonna show you. Hey, Buttercup. This lady is about to be a mama again. On Thursday of this week, we are expecting. Well, she's already a mama. Well, she a is girl. already a mama, yeah. But on Thursday of this week, we are expecting our next calf from her. So, Jersey cows are pregnant for about 279 days. What? And her 279 day hits us on Thursday. So, we will be looking for a calf. Now, there are a few things we look for ahead of time to let us know that she's getting ready. One of those things is the udder, is her bag starting to fill up um is it look like it's getting full of milk because obviously she's gotta have milk to feed that baby so we can look at her udder here um jersey cows are known for their milk supply um this is not as full as i expect it to be um before she gives birth and you can start looking at the teats some too that they will start getting full like in here, now I can tell there is milk in there. Um, but they will get really puffy. So while, now so, and with cows it kind of it it varies. They might, um, their udder might swell up a day before, they might start a week before. It also is gonna depend on if they're like a first time freshener or if they've had calves before. And this is gonna be Buttercup's fifth calf with us. So, um, I'm pretty good at knowing her signs at this point. Um, we look at, we also start looking at her back end a little bit. You look for like some movement back there. Um, discharge when you look at like the mucus plug and things like that. Um, starting to, that she's lost and we have already seen some of that. So it's not going to be long for this lady. We have got to get her, we've got to get her fence moved. Um, you can see we are using several premier one fences to give her lots of great grass to do here and then we're moving her very frequently she's got her water and we've got her grain bucket and all here so we're gonna get her moved and then you can hear the gang up on the field quacking and clucking away I'll take you over and show you the chickens and ducks as well all right so this little lady right here is called a cochin. She is a blue cochin. You'll see she has feathers all the way down to her feet. She is full of feathers. Let's see if she'll walk back towards us here. And all the way to her feet there, she is covered in feathers. I love cochins. We have two um, cochins. They're really good mamas. They raise babies very well. So, yes, you hear our duck gang over here. Quack, 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 quack. These are runner ducks. Um, if you remember them from when they were babies, we got them last January. <laughs> this right here is one of our new chicks from this year and she is a Bielefelder. You'll see they're pecking on a pumpkin. Pumpkins are great. Um, pumpkin seeds are good natural warmers. This is a moran this is where you get that chocolate brown egg from um the white ones with feathers on their feet and then this is one americana we have several americanas americanas um come in lots of different colors and sometimes they have beards um and then what you would call muffs if you look at this black one here she's also an americana she has little muffs on the side of her face and she um those americanas lay blue eggs so some of our egg customers that are getting these nice colorful eggs from us now this is the flock you are getting them from our duck pond little swim pool there for the ducks and there's one of my other little coaching girls right over there walking around all right everybody is ready to get fed we have several roosters in this crew um you will see 
My favorite rooster over here is this black Australorp rooster. He is absolutely beautiful. When the sun hits him just right, you can see the green and purple sheen in his feathers. He is the oldest rooster we have. And we do have a Moran rooster, which is white. And we have a buff Orpington rooster, which is like the yellow gold color. So, here they are out here enjoying the grass. And we're getting ready to give them some of their grain for the evening. Sneaking in the feed bucket. <laughs> Hungry chickies. Max, you want to throw the feed out to him? You got eggs? Yeah. Woohoo! But we don't. Have any so here are some of our. This is one of that blue egg that I showed you the um, Americana chicken. So there's several different Americanas in there. We have some blue eggs, brown eggs. Oh, you know what? This is probably a new. <laughs> A new layer and the way you can tell that is this egg is pretty small so the first egg they lay a lot of times is smaller than all of the others they go to and then after they've laid for a while the eggs get bigger here's a pretty blue one So in addition to all the laying birds that we have here, we also just processed about 52 meat birds as well as um, some of our older layers. So we did continue that with our um, homesteading even though we have moved as well. You can see everyone lined up with the grain here to have some dinner. Now we gotta work on some rabbits. We've got baby rabbits coming this week, uh, a calf coming this week, and we have one more animal that I'm not gonna tell you about that's coming this weekend as well. So you'll have to stay tuned to see that one. So let's go clean some rabbit cages. We've got to set up a nesting box and get that ready for Marshmallow so that she can give us some babies this weekend. If you remember, these are our bucks, Henry, Chip, and Peanut Butter. Hey buddy, those are our Silver Fox bucks. And we still have, where's Maple? We still have Maple, yeah. and, Layla. and then Layla and Marshmallow. Marshmallow. Um, Layla is a Silver Fox, but Marshmallow is our New Zealand doe, and she is the one that is getting ready to have Baby. kits. So we've got to get her moved into her own cage um, where we had had these two together. So let's get everything cleaned up and get her moved. We are cleaning out rabbit cages, snuggling rabbits. Yes, Layla Gray got out of her pen while we were cleaning out rabbit cages. We have we have moved um, Marshmallow over to her new cage. We just got to get her put back up where she's going to be. Um, so what we will be doing, let me show you Marshmallow. We've got a rabbits should not be on the ground because of parasites and stuff. So she's not going to stay there. We just have her there while we're cleaning her cage for a second. She's in her nice new cage with her feed and her water. And then we will be giving her 
her nesting box where she will build her little nest for her baby kits. And then, so in here, these are the house that we are staying at while we are in the process of our move. These chickens right here belong to her. And this is their little chicken palace. And because it's undercover, it's where we have our It's where we have our rabbit palace over there. You can see they're elevated off the ground. Um, so these are the buck palaces over here. And then we have our does. So, you can see they are cleaning. Our chickens are going through and cleaning up all where our rabbits were. And let me show you the excellent compost from cleaning out rabbit cages. You get tons of excellent compost and rabbit manure is green so you can put it directly on garden beds. Um, but we will be putting this into the compost pile so it can be ready for next spring. So we've got a few more rabbit cages to clean out. We have got to um, move buttercup fence and my battery's getting ready to die. So the question of are we still homesteading even though we're moving and the answer is what is it Max? Yes. Yes we are. Yes. All right, it's definitely getting um, dark much sooner now. All the chickens are up for the night. Everybody is roosting. And so it's time for us to head in and get dinner started. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned to the end of the week. You wanna see that beautiful calf that we can't wait to have born. You wanna see those cute baby rabbits and that surprise animal that's making its debut this weekend as well. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time right here at Cram Farms. Bye.